This is Mario once again with MIA Microflight and this is my radio control micro racer. This is a 164 scale uh, custom radio control uh, car. I designed this uh, so that I can run them on the dual tracks, uh, 3D printed tracks that I show in some other video. It's on my YouTube channel. If you would care to see those videos, check those out. This is basically the um, the first prototype of this little micro racer. It's got aluminum wheels with um, TPU 3D printed uh, tires. Uh, the two servos that you see there, one is for steering and the other one is for uh, propulsion. The rear one is modified to um, drive the uh, tail uh, wheel. This is just a one wheel drive. The other wheel is just a uh, on an axle, on a um, uh, axle that's screwed onto the side of the um, of the frame. There, uh, the frame is a uh, actually the frame is a three, four part uh, 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 sections here. The the two servo uh, boxes that you see here, those are separate. The steering uh, arm uh, that connects the uh, the um, the steering um, uh, axles, those are, um, that's a separate one. There are two uh, axles for steering that is attached to each wheel via this uh, link uh, for the, uh, the steering and also has a uh, top, um, top bar here to support the, uh, to support the, the steering. So when the servo is activated, you know, the wheels move in that fashion here. I need to, uh, since this is my first uh, prototype, I need to um, modify this uh, arm here. I need to extend it up uh, about the, the height of this uh, uh, control um, servo control horn here so that it gives me a little more uh, throw on the um, steering but it's pretty much there. You can see the bottom. The um, these uh, servo boxes are separate, and each one is attached via four screws. These are 080 size screws. I had these screws from uh, back in the day uh, when I used to do the tiny uh, micro helicopters, palm size helicopters. I, I was selling all the uh, the original kits as well as the uh, upgrades that I sold. You know, for pretty much every helicopter. They came out after I started selling my my own little tiny helicopters back in uh, around 1999, when I established MIA Microflight. So a lot of those parts I uh, I still have. Uh, this is just something uh, in comparison to a helicopter. You know, this is a lot easier to to make and manufacture. As you can see, it's very simplistic. Uh, just a just a plate for the fr for the frame uh, with the. Um, uh, with the steering um, section is uh, separate pieces, very very simple, uh, yet uh, it's very uh, elegant. I don't like uh, to do things, uh, uh, you know, cheesy. I mean, the, the, this is um, this didn't take me long to to think uh, this uh, frame uh, because I already had a, a similar a similar little. Um, Go kart that I designed for my grandkids, so they they can just uh, run these uh, free on those uh, train tracks, uh, either the wooden tracks or the ones that I uh, produce, uh, you know, for my uh, for the trains and for the uh, for the racing uh, cars that uh, that I show in some other videos. But this is where this uh, came from, and this is how I got uh, I got started uh, doing this. I figure, you know, I may as well just uh, I mean I have all the parts. Uh, quite a bit of those uh, those parts in fact uh, I have these uh, little light bulbs I have uh, these little receivers that I use on my little one s uh, uh, airplanes uh, you, you can also check those videos out in my YouTube channel uh, and it's done with these little receivers here I, you know the, I, I fly those little airplanes uh, on one cell and so this is um, my latest uh, little project and it's like um, in uh, in view that uh, my grandkids are um, they're they're almost about a year uh, a year and a half old uh, one is a little girl with the other one's a little guy um, so um, 
I decided to uh, to do these things so when they come uh, home they can uh, run these things uh, fairly easy uh, you, you don't really need the steering uh, on those uh, tracks three different tracks all you need is just a propulsion you know with a with the throttle control and uh, the, uh, the the transmitter I show that in some other video just a more simplistic um, um, uh, uh, radio control car that I had uh, from uh, many many years ago it runs on 49 uh, megahertz and the other one runs on 27 you know for the yeah, I used to I used to play around with those things uh, with my, when my kids uh, were um, uh, were, were home, and then, you know my my son and, and I used to run those little guys uh, in my backyard, uh, and so I kept those. But over the years, the batteries uh, died, and so I ended up replacing the nickel metal hydrides with uh, one cell lipos, very similar to this size right here that you see here, um, because the size is very similar to these little guys here. So. I decided to do a go kart. Unfortunately, uh, because be, because of the size of these particular servos, I wasn't able to get the uh, the right um, uh, proportions here with uh, with the seat. But it's pretty much, you know, uh, wheel base um, uh, wise, it's the same uh, the same size. Um, so it's going to run on the the tracks. Uh, should should be able to run on those tracks uh, fairly. Uh, fairly easy. I already tested a similar size little car on, uh, on those dual dual tracks that I just uh, 3D printed. Um, completed a uh, sort of a small oval. I'm printing some more so that I can do a an 8x4 um, uh, uh, track yeah, which uh, is a, a little more elaborate. I show that also on one of my other videos, uh, the CAD version of that, uh, the layout. And so you can check that out if you want to, uh, you know, uh, look into these uh, little guys, but this is, uh, you know, this is something uh, that I really wanted to uh, to do, and um, I'm almost um, I'm almost there. Uh, the uh, receiver, you know, will have to be connected to the servos. I have to strip the servos and connect them uh, with um, uh, pins, little tiny pins, because these connectors are not for this receiver, uh, and, and basically. Um, do that. Uh, this, I don't need a speed control here because the servo itself has speed control via the. Um, it's it, it basically it's a modified servo uh, so that it can run uh, the wheel uh, pretty much uh, forward and reverse, uh, just uh, via the uh, control the uh, pulse width uh, modulation. You know via the transmitter and uh, through this receiver here. Once uh, these things are connected, and the only thing I need here is um, uh, you know the the battery, the battery the the receiver and, uh, and and to connect these two very simple um, I wanted to keep it uh, that way I may opt for a um, uh, just a, a, a much uh, bigger uh, motor than uh, than the motor that comes on with these servos that is little tiny little tiny little motors um, and so I don't expect to get a lot a lot of speed you know just by running it through the servo here uh, in it's, it's a uh, free uh, spinning uh, um, uh, drive so I think I'm going to uh, also make another version with a just a tiny cordless uh, motors uh, with uh, some kind of a gear um, uh, maybe a four to one uh, ratio uh, with the, with the motor and so I'm gonna have to uh, create that uh, geometry and create that part so that it attaches uh, very similar to the way the servos attach here but except that it'll hold the uh, uh, bros uh, cordless motor with the with a gear uh, in place and uh, of course I, I will need, need to make this a, a live axle this is not a live axle right now it only drives this this wheel here via the servo this other one is it just it just spins freely and you can see my axles on these are also very simple they're they're uh, they're 080 screws um, I just went right through the the uh, the PLA uh, insert it's that um, it's that delta little part that you see here the the hub of this aluminum wheel I right, just made sure that that hole was uh, precisely drilled with a uh, little tiny drill bits so that the um, so that it rides uh, nice and smooth over this um, this uh, screw just just for simplicity and that screw is screwed onto this uh, uh, um, axle uh, uh, post here uh, that uh, also pivots via these two plates here the the bottom um, the bottom uh, chassis and this uh, top plate here 
and this bar right here is, is doing basically the, the steering here. So it's um, very simple, very um, uh, very quick, and um, uh, you know very very easy to maintain to uh, assemble. So I'll be um, completing this uh, very soon, and then I'll be uh, doing a, a run on the on the track. Actually, I, I will need to make two in in order to uh, race with uh, somebody else or uh, race with my grandkids. You know when they come over. So this is something uh, new. If you um, if you have any comments, uh, put them down uh, below uh, in this video. Um, if you think this is pretty cool? Uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, you know this is um, it's a unique chassis. I mean there are other videos on uh, YouTube that show how to make um, how to turn a little uh, those uh, metal. Uh, Hot wheels into radio control cars. There's a lot of people that uh, that uh, already do that kind of work, but I, you know, I I, I thought I, I start from uh, scratch. You know, just make my my own custom, and doing it my way, the, the way I like. I, I like simplicity. I don't like to uh, make the things too complex. Uh, I did that many many years when I started doing the little helicopters. I mean, that was that was pretty complex. You know, working with the tiny little helicopters and a lot of that stuff had to be. Um, had to be uh, invented <laughs> because there were there were no little tiny helicopters back in the day, and so I had to uh, bring, burn burn a lot a lot of brain cells in the, in that process. Um, but this is very simple, and um, if uh, people catch on to this, um, I may release the uh, the files, the STL files, once I clean this up, and I I have uh, both this version and also the version with the cordless motor and uh, a gear system there. Of course, that one will need a uh, speed control. It's ind independent speed control, uh, but it should be able to fit in this uh, little um, chassis here um, in use with this uh, receiver here. Look how tiny this little receiver is. It's, it's very tiny, and then the battery, which will which will, I mean, it can go pretty much anywhere, and this can even have a um, uh, a cover, or I can just leave it open like that. I think uh, I think uh, it adds a, a little more interest, you know, just leaving it, leaving it open like that. I could have laid the servo uh, flat, but um, I didn't like the the way it was looking. It was uh, I, I would have had to offset that to the side in order for the uh, the servo horn to be in in the center of this uh, arm here. I mean, I could have also done it on the side, you know, just move this um, this uh, stem of this uh, control uh, arm here on the side. But I, I like I like symmetry and I like everything to be center, and that's the reason why I elected to put that servo vertically in the center, uh, in line with the uh, with the chassis. Um, you know, it, it it just looks a, a lot cleaner that way, uh, although it is uh, it, it did gain a little bit of height, um, which I. You know, I wasn't too crazy about uh, the height, but it's it's not really bad. I mean, if I put a cover here, you know, just a very uh, very low um, low profile cover uh, that should cover pretty much it because this is the highest point right here. So, I mean, I can see a little uh, Volkswagen, uh, uh, just um, you know, a three D printed Volkswagen um, Beetle type um, cover you know they would uh, go really nice with this or I can just leave it as a, as a go-kart because this was intended to be a go-kart as you can see by the chassis here so anyway just wanted to uh, show this uh, little project that I'm working on and you know with with the uh, with the with the aluminum wheels that I showed in some other videos this is Mario once again stay tuned for more